Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over our geometric constructions on how to bisect a line segment. Alright, the instructions are using a compass and a straight edge bisect segment AB. Alright, so let's say we have um, this segment AB here and we're to use a compass and a straight edge to bisect it. Okay, so first things first, we're going to um, take our compass and we'll place the spike on point A to begin with, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to create two arcs, one from point um, A and one point from point B in such a way that the two arcs intersect at a point above and a point below the segment, okay? Those two lines of intersection are basically equidistant from these two points, so we'll have two um, congruent triangles that we'll be creating when we, if we connect um, points A to those points of intersection and point B to those points of intersection. And we can basically prove congruency using the side 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 congruency postulate. Alright, so let's go ahead and create the arcs. Now, as I indicated earlier, you want to make sure that the um, radius of your um, compass is sufficiently wide, okay? If your radius is too small, what you have is a situation where the arcs will not intersect, okay? So the, the trick here is you want to make sure that the radius of your arc is b um, bigger than the midpoint of the segment, okay? We don't know exactly where the midpoint is, but you can estimate that it's somewhere here. So just extend your compass to be at a point that's um, smaller than the length of the segment, but bigger than the midpoint, okay? If you have a situation where the, um, the radius of your arc is smaller than the midpoint, then you will have a situation where your two arcs will not intersect and it will be impossible to create your bisector, okay? So let's um, go ahead and make our, make our arcs. This, you can clearly see this is um, bigger than the midpoint. And then we just want to make an arc somewhere above where we think the midpoint is. So you have to visualize or try to estimate where the midpoint is and then you make an arc, one above from point A and then um, <clears throat> you make another arc covering the same region beneath the line segment from point A, okay? Now these are a collection of points that are equal distance from A, collection of points that are equal distance from A, so imagine this is a big circle. Now uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to t place our spike on point B and we will not alter the radius, okay? So you keep your compass at the same um, radius and you place your spike on point B and then we want to, um, so just <coughs> switch it around here. So we're just going to um, create an arc through these points. So let's go ahead and do that. So these are a collection of points that are equidistant from point B but also equal to the distance from A to this arcs, arc right there, okay? And then let's go down to the bottom and then we're going to create another arc. So you see if the arc is sufficiently large you will have this point of intersection. If it's too small they won't intersect, okay? So now what we're going to do is draw a line segment um, that is going to bisect a, B. Okay, so let's put our compass to the side and then using your straight edge you can just draw a line segment um, that goes through um, the two points that we just created. Let me make sure that they are right in the center. Now using the computer is a little, it's a little bit off but when you do it with your, um, your hand then um, you can make sure that you can do it with pinpoint accuracy. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down some statements to basically communicate what we have done, all right? So let's call this line that we just created, let's call it line L. Let me change the color, put it in blue. All right, so this is line L. 
All right, so what do we know about line L? Conclusion, let's write down our conclusion. Um, our conclusion is as follows. Based on the construction that we just did, um, line L is a bisector. So the bisector of segment AB. Okay? Now, what does that mean? Well, using objects, if line L is a bisector of AB, and let's construct this point, we're going to call this point uh, C, what can we say? Well, we can say that um, segment AC is congruent to segment BC using objects notation. If we want to use length notation, we can simply say AC, this length right here, is equal to BC. That's what you have when you create a um, bisector. Okay. If we want to indicate this conclusion on our construction here, we can just use marks. Um, just put a mark here and a mark here. And another thing to note is that our bisector is also perpendicular to segment AB. That's what happens anytime you create the perpendicular when you create the bisector of a line segment. Okay? So this is how you bisect a line segment. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your um, studies of geometric constructions, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments or you want to request a construction tutorial, um, that you like us to make, just um, place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.